That's not exactly a... Well, let's go talk to this to summon a biscuit. Oh, barrels. What's in the barrels? What's in these barrels? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Huh. So, like Napalm. I have no objections to that. Hey, Frostfinger! Uh, oh, I see why you're called Frostfinger! He's Canadian, alright. He's Canadian. By the way, I can say this because I'm Canadian too. You're Frostfinger. You Rather Frostfinger less. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? I'm Gary Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Gary Tuttle get himself sent to the wall. You're a thief, a raper. You abandon your post, or do you Let's do this. fancy dying someplace cold? I killed a man who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. Yes. You know Give me a pitchfork. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. A what? As if it's a knighthood. Ah. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. you and that is why you're man. always honest, ladies Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Sir. Yes, yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Hmm. Under Somewhere in there. Well, that's a go. Oh, and Tuttle. Aye? Sooner or later, the night's watch will be your death. It's gonna Let be it sooner. Try to make it quick. It's going to be sooner. It's going to be sooner. I know it. It's going to be sooner rather than later because I stink at this sort of thing. We heard hey. Asher was in Slaver's Bay, so Malcolm caught a ship headed for. I heard they took him off a corpse cart, <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> at least he can still eat his shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. And we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Yeah. Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Look at me! Up, would you? And bring you some salted pork while you're at it. Notice me, ladies and gentlemen. For I... Um, is that him? Uh, Roderick! Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> Shut up. Had a run in with Walder Frey, did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Ah, can it, you descendants of burnt briskets? Oh, hey, who are you? We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Move aside, soldier. Move aside, soldier. At least be polite at first. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you are gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker, your legs, or this house? Move now. Move now. That's right, you tell them off. <laughs> Go on then, my lord. Uh, 
Ugh, backtrack. That's Feels cool. amazing. Be polite at first. Always be polite initially. It's ridiculous. You're treating them the like wine keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Hey! How you doing? Roderick. I'm here, suckers! Firstborn is back! I think you're the first one. Come, join us. Thanks for having me. The other one fighting me would have been nicer. You should have told us the Lord needed help. Roderick, if you it's die... Good. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. <laughs> the Maester was wrong. Tengrin doesn't know everything. I didn't mean it like that. Who among us does? Who oh, indeed? <laughs> I meant it like that. It was just like, Dali's well, Maester was wrong. Now I'm here. You know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. Oh, oh shut up. The White Hill soldiers it drunk. keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lords, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay stole them. I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead, and Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Because we have no army. Silence. You must not quarrel. <laughs> I am your lord. You're here to give counsel, not to quarrel at my table. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves when we should be fighting them. We need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not mm. anymore. I'll summon our, summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've mm. heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took deep with Mott. Halsey's Helliver, Grayson, and Brownborough were all slaughtered at the Twins, and the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the Union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Naturally. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now. My betrothed? My betrothed? Coming to Ira? Yes, my son. A raven arrived this morning. Lady Elena is eager to see you. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground. Yes. Why not just burn it to the normal ground? Why does that have to be to the must hope Lady Elena yeah ground? Wants to marry Roderick. <laughs> Talking about a marriage, not an ironwood contract. I'll secure a father's army, no matter what it takes. Very good. Yeah, we kind of need the army. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Keep them drunk. Keep them drunk. It's better than inciting them to violence. Yes, my lord. I like no, that idea. Nothing more to discuss. There's yes. a reason that they think you're a fool. It's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Wait a second, isn't Ironwood, like, Welcome impervious to, to fire? To I'm very confused. What kind of fire is that? Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan.
How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. Would you like my help? I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows how much Ethan meant Oh, Ethan. come on. Just because it's I can't sing doesn't mean I can't write lyrics. <laughs> there's, a mo there's amazing poets with horrible voices. I just need to About think of a few. Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Oh yeah, her. Which one was she? That one. I think. Strength of mind. No, no, no. It's it's speed of hand. Speed of mind. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. Oh, and, how benevolent. Mm, something nice after that. Uh, you're in our thoughts. children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Miro. And the seal. Here you are. Thank you. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. Who? The name sounds important, but I'm not too sure. I have a letter hey. for Lady Mira Forrester. Cool boy! How you doing? My pleasure, Lady Mira. Oh yeah, you said something about helping out or whatever. What is it, Mira? Huh. Not sure. Mother. She asked that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking she such means things. She no disrespect. She's my mother. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet. You'd be forcing their hand. That mm. isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before, and you saw the results. Yeah. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. How do seals work, I wonder? Oh. I'm gonna forge the letter, aren't I? If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... Uh, critical decision, ah. Uh. No, I'm gonna have to finish the letter. I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited... Wait, wait, wait! There was already Mira. stuff wrote on that thing! Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir I'm Maynard. Oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. About what? If you don't mind. Yeah, what about? <laughs> well, it's... 
it's amazing when I say things and there's a choice right there. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. Oh, back here. He looks so out of place. His hair's the wrong color. Oi, fuckhead. And he's short. You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. Ah, uh, fine. I think we'll get along fine. Most of you will be dead with No you. use in arguing. Frostfinger and his bloody speech. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. Okay, good, I'm you know listening. I got sent to the wall. The wall don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't care. <laughs> you should. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married. I said to I didn't care. He tried to stick me with this. I was stuck in him instead. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? <laughs> I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diacrime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? Shut up, both of you. Stealing a bag of them. You both need to stop talking. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cotter the Potato Thief. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. Oh, I've got something for your sister. Stop talk arguing. About my sister Enough Finn. How do I know Finn? Stop arguing. Who in seven hells is talking back there? I try to shut them up. Double. Who was it? By definition, it was the three of us. These, men These two were arguing. Not wise to point the finger at your new brothers, Tuttle. I tried to shut them up. Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what that he wants may end up happening. doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow. Are you strong? Nope, nope, Those nope. who do well might just survive. The well, I'm you. toast. Frostfinger. Who's I need that a word. Dude? Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. Here we go. Again. Close up. See those dummies? Those are fed. Come to in your brains. I'll start with the bow. The um uh the uh the cowards uh, the precisionists weapon. Where's the, where's the bows? Oh, here's the bows. Practice dummies. Let's do this shit. You're doing that all wrong. Have these were I... Oh, he just shot us out of the foot. The man's raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. See if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. How's that? You can follow orders at least. Next oh, bolt. shut up. Left target, head. Left, that's uh, this one. 
Good. Right target. Chest. How's that? Not bad. Sensor oh, shut up. Between the eyes. Really? Quit moving! One less wildling. Not bad. You hit all of them. Nicely done. And I never had to reload. I don't know who that dude is. You alright? <laughs> How's your foot? Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him... Ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swap it right off him. Wow, you really are a thief. I don't think he'd take it kindly. You should give it back to him. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. Well, at least I know how to, uh... Oh, let's pet the horse. Black, I can look at it. Let's look at it. Castle Black. Yeah, I believe he said that on the way in. Okay, is home. Gotta shift position. Oh, he's getting sore. I missed what he just said. Oh well, I'll be able to find out when I edit my videos. Or the little editing I, I actually do. A frost fingerless. A bri bri brazier. Bri brazier? Brazier? Oh, bloody cold up here. That's like Canada. Deal with it. I live in this stuff. Hallway? That's not a hallway. That's a... I guess that's... Never mind. That's pretty much a hallway. Barrels. Hold on a second. You there, recruit. Hi. Scrawny, aren't you? I take you offense... Oh, you're you talking about Garrett. Never mind. Right. I can do this. It's just rapidly pressing X, isn't it? Okay, hold an X. <gasps> Want some help? <laughs> You're a big fellow, aren't you? It's a sudden of a biscuit. Don't hurt yourself, Tuffle. Oh, shut up, Flip. Again. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing hasn't frozen off. Oh, yeah. I'll be a ranger. Just you watch. Not holding my breath, brother. You should hold your breath. Biscuit! Gotta be faster! Sword rack. Take that! Take that! Oh, Watch your bloody top! You! Grab a practice sword! Hmm. Which one? Let's go with this one. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. <laughs> oh, you have a sweet Remember, deal, good sir. These blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Naturally. Quick time. Ready for ya. <gasps> Keep at it. Whoop. 
Oops. <gasps> Not really experienced with the sword. Who? Good kick. Well fought. Not bad, eh, sir? Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. I got skill. <laughs> You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. It's a precisionist weapon! I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. Yeah, I don't know. Come to think of it, you were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, Dawn. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Daddy, do something. But stop it before someone... <clears throat> I won't say it again. Step the fuck aside. If you ever... The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, oh, yes, I need another man to top the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Oh! Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. Who are you? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, police need to be put in their place. Deep-fried pickle? Yeah, I told him. This way. So what's going down now? I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians... I have a lot on my mind. Marjorie. I have a lot on my mind lately. I'm playing as like four people now. Wait, yeah. Asher. Just through here. Get, get, uh, uh, Tuttle. Her Who's and Roderick. I think there's four people. I have a lot in my mind. Queen Cersei's finest wine. How did you? Where did you get that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the boy who keeps the queen cellar well stocked. Nobody will miss it. I assure you. Apparently not well enough. A little won't hurt. It's just wine. I don't I drink. We won't get like it. personally, I don't. Suit yourself then. So, I uh. Oh yeah, you wanted to talk about something. 